Hey, it's Marklin here with your video thought for the day. All right, we're yet in another day of Hanukkah. We're also still getting ready for Christmas. I'm in New York City at a Christmas holiday festival market where you can get all of these gifts. I love this stuff. I love the little things you can get, the trinkets. I, I confess, I do like to shop, but I especially like the hot chocolate at this one certain booth and the gingerbread men at another certain booth. Leave that aside for a moment. Why am I here and why am I talking video thought for the day today? The reason why is because this is a season that is a season of giving and that's an appropriate season. If you're celebrating Hanukkah, you'll give a gift generally each night as you light another candle. If you're celebrating Christmas, you give Christmas gifts and both of them are rooted in the same idea. That idea is that God himself is a giver of wonderful gifts. You know, James, the brother of Jesus said, every good and perfect gift comes from God above. The Old Testament is replete with comments about how God gives, God gives, God gives. God gave Adam and Eve the Garden of Eden. God gave uh, Abraham a, a, a country, a nation, a heritage, a lineage. God gave um, Israel redemption from, from Egyptian slavery and gave them a promised land. God has always been a giving, giving God. You work all the way through the Old Testament. He's a giving God. Look at one of the most known verses in the Christian scriptures, John 3, 16. For God so loved the world that he gave his only son, that whoever believes in him shouldn't perish, but have everlasting life. That's all giving, giving, giving. And so in recognition of God being a giving God, uh, we give gifts to each other. Now, this is commercial gifts. I haven't found the free booth yet where they're giving things away for free, but I have found a whole lot of things to buy. Now, you may be saying, I'm on a budget this year. I don't have a lot of things to give. Homemade gifts, some of the best, but I'll go a step beyond that and tell you, you can give gifts of love and service you can give forgiveness, you can give mercy, you can give all sorts of things. And the dynamic part is, you can't conceive of a kind of gift like that, that God hasn't already given you. Mercy, love, forgiveness, those are traits of our giving God. Those are things we don't earn and we don't deserve. Those are things he gives us. It is a gift of eternal life. Now, where do I land with all of this? Well, yeah, I'm doing Christmas shopping and I'm trying to find some stuff. I'm really struggling about what to find for Becky. I've got an idea, but I'm afraid if I tell you, she'll know because she watches these video thoughts for the day. So I'm not gonna tell you what I'm getting her. I think instead what I'm gonna do is tell you that let's all focus on what we can be giving God. And I would suggest we give to God when we spend time with him, when we honor him by reading his word and thinking about it, but also when we treat other people with the love and respect that he calls us to have for them. In that way, we are honoring and we are giving to God. So, happy Hanukkah, Merry Christmas. I hope that uh, you're finding everything you need to prepare your gift giving. Uh, I've got a lot more to do, and I think it's going to start back at that hot chocolate booth I was telling you about. More tomorrow, but this is your video thought for today. Happy Hanukkah, Merry Christmas, God bless you. I'll see you on the other side of giving.